You know what? I'm not often lost for words, but on this occasion, I don't know how to start or what to say. Um, well, that wasn't what we expected, was it? It really genuinely wasn't what we expected. It was genuinely poor. Very poor. Um, just I, Seriously. And what you think? Because I'm lost for words. I genuinely am lost for words on this one. It, it, it's. I thought. I thought it'd be a tough game. Look, I, again, get me wrong. I thought it'd be tough. Of course, I did. I thought it'd be a hard game. They're a good side. They've got some good players: Sibari, Sangare, De Jong, um, Kyoko. We've got some decent players. We've got a good manager. But we, we spent a lot. And um, do you know what? I'm just, I'm just ah, genuinely lost for words. And that's an unusual for me, isn't it? You know, to be lost for words. But on this occasion, guys, I'm genuinely lost. Because I'll be honest with you, I didn't see that coming. I possibly, you know, with my heart, head could have seen us maybe going out. I didn't want to admit it. Of course he didn't. But realistically, I never saw it that bad. Never saw it turning into a 5-1 gubbing, a 5-1 slaughtering, a, a humiliation. Because that's what it was. It was a humiliation. It wasn't a beating. It wasn't a defeat. It wasn't just a loss. It was a it was a humiliation. And you know what? That's what I can't take. I can't take. Just can't accept, maybe. I don't know. It, it's shocking. Really shocking. And look, let, let's just let's let's try and get some. Let's get, try and get some resonance on this, some some plan on some plan on this, maybe. I mean, let's face it, the team didn't have a plan today, did they? Um, team selection. Let's talk about team selection. So team selection, um, Jack Butler didn't go. Look, what look, the criticism I'm gonna give the players, the slaughter I'm gonna give the players. Jack doesn't bear to you, mate. You were great. Jack Butland is for me the only player that gets pass marks. The only player that's worth his money today, the only player that should be allowed to fly at home because he kept the score down. He didn't keep it respectable because 5 1 ain't respectable, is it? So let's, let's get away from that definition. But he certainly kept the score down. He kept it, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Reasonable? No, it's not, it's not reasonable. He kept it from being humiliating. I don't know, 5 1's humiliating. Anyway, he just kept the score down. It could have been 9 10. You know, Jack Butler pulled off some great saves. I thought Jack was fantastic today. and I just wish the other signings and the other players would look to him and see the level he plays at and kind of kind of mimic that level because they need to because at the moment it ain't good enough. Just and look, one thing I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear the BS. I'm not going to use the actual words, but the BS. They're gelling. They need time to gel. They still need team time to gel. They're a new team. Michael Beals, the number of times in his press conference he came out with, they're a new team. They're a new team. They're a new team. Michael, it's it's. I'm sorry, but how how long can we use that excuse? You had them in preseason. You've had them now for a few league games. PSV have signed a lot of new players. Are they? Does the they, they, are they saying that? Are they? No, they're not. They're not saying that. Why? Because PSV had a clear clear game plan. They had a clear set of tactics, a clear set of way of playing, a clear purpose to what they were doing. And it worked. It worked really, really well. And, you know, look, I don't like them. I don't like the, the fact they've been arrogant, the lack of respect they've shown, the classlessness of some of their players, the Veerman, for example, and God, did he have to score. But they were the better team. Look, I ain't gonna do. I'm not gonna dispute that they were the better team. I don't want to hear this rubbish about finances and they've got more money than us and blah blah blah. Because you know what? It doesn't really matter. Because at the end of the day, shocks happen all the time. Or you know, there's cup in cup, cup competitions, teams from lower leagues knock out teams from top leagues. And I don't really genuinely think it was down to money tonight. It wasn't down to the fact that their squad is worth a substantial amount of more money than us. 
it was genuinely down to the fact for me that you look at that team on the field today, that pitch, that Rangers team that took the field today, and to me, and look, I look, I'd look, look, come and argue with me, please, and tell me I'm wrong. But did you see a plan? Did you see a shape? Did you see a set of tactics? Did you see a set of players that kind of knew what they were doing? Because I'll tell you something, I didn't. I didn't see a set of players that. I set up, saw a set of players that genuinely looked like they didn't have a clue what they were supposed to be doing. A set of players that didn't look to have a plan, an A or a B plan. And that's what's frustrating for me. It's not the fact that we lost, because I can take losing. I can take being beaten by a better team, which PSV were. What I can't take is going down with no tactics, no plan, no shape, no fight, no bottle, nothing. Absolutely nothing tonight. Um, genuinely, it was just appalling. I mean, the team selection was wrong um, for me. I think absolutely wrong. You've got to play Ryan Jack. You know, the guy's the most exp- one of the most experienced players on there. When Ryan plays in central midfield, everyone else looks better. He covers for Borna. He covers for Tav. He is the shield. I, I didn't get the team selection in the slightest. I thought Cifuentes was appalling tonight. And I thought, you know, the fact that they took off um, Raskin. I mean, Raskin wasn't having a great game, don't get me wrong. He was not playing well, but Cifuentes was a whole lot worse. Um, Daryl Dessas, who many have defended, look, defend that. Defend what he did tonight because he was poor tonight. And he misses that chance. That chance goes in. Maybe the game turns out. Maybe. I know it's a maybe. But maybe the game turns out differently. But, you know, he's a number nine. He should be scoring those chances. The money we've paid for him, he should be putting the ball in the back of the net. That's what his job is. Yes, he gave two great assists against uh, against them in the first leg. Yes, he works hard, but his job is to score goals. And he didn't do that. And he had a chance to do that. He gets that touch out of his, out of his feet perfectly. He finds the back of the net. Well, a good striker does. And then Tav smashes the ball across the face of the area. Where's your number nine? Your number nine should be following that ball in. He should be right where that ball is. And when it's smashed across the area, to just have a tap in. Where's Dessas? Not a clue. Guy's not up to it. It's not up to it, guys. He's been, he's poor. Very, very poor. He's not a goal scoring centre forward. We need a goal scoring centre forward. He ain't it. He ain't it. Um, Matondo did well. I'm going to give Rabi some credit. Thought he did okay. The rest of the team were pretty poor. John Lundstrom was about the best central midfielder. There you go. I'm praising John Lundstrom. But that's not much of a claim to fame when the other was were just as uh, well, one out of ten, two out of ten at best. And the defending. I'm not being funny, but that was just awful. Absolutely shocking. And what surprises me is the fact that the defence wasn't great last season and it hasn't, nothing's been done about it. Nothing's been done to, to, to rectify the defensive issues. We've got a back four that's 117 years old between them. We've got a back four that can't defend. We've got a back four tonight who were appalling against a top-class team. We've got a back four that made so many errors. Yes, part of it is down to the fact that midfield gave them very little protection. Yes, I get that. 100% understand that. Now, when someone was put in the team, people said, oh, he can drop back in, make it back three. He can drop back in, make it back three. Did you see him do it once tonight? I didn't. I didn't know what my thing. I just, I don't know what the plan was. There was no plan. Genuinely no plan. And it's it's not good enough. And look, like I said to you, PSV, yes, are a better team than us. Yes, they are. Look, get that. 100% accept that. What I can't accept is the manner of that defeat. The fact that they just didn't even try and they didn't even fight. And then... And then on behalf of the manager, the manager had no plan, no tactics, no clue. Half time, it was not working. It was falling down. Yet he still waits to 60 minutes to bring on Lammers and Danilo. And yes, it made a difference. I thought it made a difference. But then we threw it all away again. And look, Bill is not proactive. He's reactive. He needs to be more proactive in his substitutions and his game, in-game management. His in-game management is not good enough. Just simply not good enough. And it's poor, poor. He should have done something. He needs to be more innovative. He needs to be more clued into what's going on. Half time, he should have made changes. I know that goes against the way he normally does things. I know that goes against his his English way of managing. 
but he needs to make changes because that was just uh, somebody needed to be hooked at half time. Several Dessas for Danilo, maybe something change of shape, change of formation because what we were doing wasn't working. And he just, I don't understand what he thought would change second half, how he thought it would work. This was not Livingston or St Johnston or Ross County we were playing. It was not Greenock Morton where you can give them a little bit of a rocket up their asses in the second half, they come out better. This was PSV Eindhoven. This is a top European team. And it doesn't work. <clears throat> you, you can't wait to 60 minutes to make a change. You know, then we get the goal back. And what happens then? We go and let ourselves down by conceding immediately. That's schoolboy. Schoolboy football. Look, when I was when I used to play when I was a kid, you were told after you scored five minutes, five minutes, keep it tight for five minutes, don't let them back in the game. And we didn't. We just let them straight back in the game. Amateur. Amateur hour. And that's insulting amateurs, in my opinion. But look, it was poor. It was just poor tonight. And man of the match, Jack Butland. Jack was outstanding. He kept the score down. The rest of them were just, they should make them walk home, walk and swim home because they were shocking. They were poor. The defense was a joke. The midfield was a joke. The strikers were a joke. Cantwell wasn't great tonight. Matondo was okay. Phil Dessers was just appalling. You know, it isn't good enough. It's just simply not good enough. And it's not acceptable. Now we go into the Celtic game on Sunday and it's a massive game. It's a must-win game. And it ain't going to be the walkover that some people think it's going to be just because they've been in bad form. You know, they're still a decent team. They're still going to cause us trouble. I'll tell you one thing. If we were to lose that game, he is bang. Michael Beale is bang under pressure. And did anyone see his post-match press conference? It was poor. It was like he was watching a different game to me. He he reminded me of Mike Bassett rather than a top-class manager. He really did. Just, I don't know. I genuinely don't know, you know. I like Michael Bill, don't get me wrong, but I just think at times he just, he, he talks a lot of crap. He really does. This is what he said. He said, hugely disappointed over the result. Yeah, we all are, Michael. Over the two legs, we struggled to handle Luke de Jong and Ibrahim Sangare. The book stops with me. Fair enough. It's early in the team's time. but uh, PSV are a very good team, but that doesn't take away from the disappointment. The difference between the two teams is quality for sure. Well, yes and no, Michael. We, we, we should have a lot of quality. You spend a lot of money. You've got Danilo, you've got Lamas, you've got Dessas. These guys are meant to make a difference. Uh, we'll wait and see what happens with the Europa League draw. An apology to our fans who came across. You know, watching his press conference um, on Rangers TV, to me, just like I said, Mike Bassett, it really was Mike Bassett. And he's going to be under a lot of pressure. If he doesn't get a result this Sunday, he is under a lot of pressure. Trust me. Trust me. He is. You know, some interesting comments from Rangers fans tonight as well. Um, you know, Butland saved us from a really embarrassing scoreline tonight. He was our only player who performed well. Beal must go, says Billy. Uh, OK, tonight was indeed sobering. And yes, gutted Champions League music won't get to be played at Ibrox into the winter. But consider this. Would you rather watch a side being constantly well beaten in the group stage of Champions League or play decent football and go on a Europa League run past Christmas? Well, look, this is one thing that kind of slightly concerns me. Rangers fans saying, oh, well, well, you know, we're in the Europa League now. We'll be OK because that's more our level. I'll tell you something, we play like that and we defend like that in the Europa League. We're going to get our asses handed to us again and we're not going to go on a run and we're not going to get anywhere near a knockout stage because there's some good teams in the Europa League this season. You know, Liverpool, for example, in the Europa League this season. You know, at the end of the day... It's no guarantee we're going to do well in the Europa League. So let's just put that to one side. This is damaging financially. You know, the Europa League is, what, six to eight million guaranteed from group stages. Champions League's 30. It's 22 million difference. Very financially damaging. And they're going to get more money now. Now we're out. They're going to increase their revenue stream. They're going to have more money to spend on players than us. So if you were happy with the Europa League, think about that. Um, you know, some interesting comments from ex-players too tonight. Ali McCoy, I'm not 100% sure Michael Beale knows what his best team is. Kimar Roof could arguably still be the best finisher at Rangers. Sam Lammers looks tidy, but the big concern for me is they're against a far better team. Rangers struggle. 
with a lack of wit. Domestically, you'll get away with it. Stephen Thompson tonight, who was on the radio and listened to Stephen Thompson's comments. Stephen Thompson was accurate. You know, he talked about civil deaths. He talked about that miss. He says, you know, you've got to at least make the keeper work. He didn't do that. When Tavernier cuts the ball back, where is he? He's not there. He's a number nine. He should be there. You know, Stephen Thompson said, a manager's dream is a team that picked itself right now. He doesn't know his best team. In the meantime, there's massive, massive games. It becomes a problem for him. There are lots and lots of different things to have to be worked on. Neil McCann, if I'm a Rangers player, Michael Beale has to find the formula. He, he believes that these guys are good players. I think they're technically good players, but what he has to find is a formula that is going to capture the imagination of Rangers fans that has a clear identity and style of play. And, and he's right, Neil. There is any, there's no style of play. The identity and style of play needs to churn out results so the Rangers fans are knowing what type of football they're expecting to see and I think you know we don't know what we're going to see because the performances ain't good enough and there's no plan there's no tactics there's nothing and tonight it's just not acceptable or well, last night it's what 2 a.m in the morning and I'm recording this at the moment it's actually 206 in the morning and just genuinely gutted genuinely just feel like someone's ripped it out of me because They've let us down badly. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please hit the sub, ring the notification bell. And as always, two things you need to do for me. Number one, hit the like, even though you probably would probably hit the cry button if there was one or the gutted button. And remember always, we are.